Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We're going to get into these messages. See what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Let's get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have the Ten of Wands. And the Five of Wands. Somebody could be burdened. And trying to juggle things. Somebody could be getting juggled too as well. Somebody is stressed and burdened. Somebody could have been in competition. Juggling more than one individual here. There could be some fights and arguments within a home. With somebody that somebody is dating. Okay. Yeah. There's a couple that could be arguing because there was a lot of juggling within a partnership. Somebody put somebody in competition. So this competition um, is leading to some types of fights and arguments in the home with, with, somebody, with who somebody was dating here. These people could even possibly live together or they, you know, you know, go to each other's homes. They dating. But there's some fights and arguments going on because somebody was juggling a lot, putting somebody in competition here. Yeah, somebody was sleeping with somebody else here. And then while they was doing all of this, they could have been trying to put burdens and stress on whoever they was dating. While they was out here doing whatever the fuck. While they was out here doing whatever they wanted. Yeah, somebody um somebody could have stepped out and had passion and was having sex with somebody new. The Queen of Wands. This person could have even traveled with this person, went on some type of travel. Hopefully this person wasn't in this person's face. Because there is three people here. But somebody could have went on some type of travel with somebody. Somebody could have lied like they was doing something else. Mm-hmm. This person worked hard to do whatever this was, too. They was making sure they got a return on their investment. Somebody was trying to manifest a child or a pregnancy, too, with somebody. It either was with the person that they was dating or who they was, you know, messing around with extra. But they was trying to manifest the fuck out of a pregnancy here. Yeah, because they wanted a family. Yeah, we have strength. Somebody could have, somebody could be a Leo, a Virgo. On the cusp of Leo and Virgo, somebody could have air highly aspected in a chart. Um, this person was delusional to think that they can do something spiritual to receive whatever this is. Delusion. Yeah, they, they definitely teamed up here to get whatever this is done. And they wanted to be pregnant, I'm telling you. They were trying to get things into alignment so that they can conceive. This person had options, though. Or this person was trying to see what options they had spiritually so they can get a victory. Honey, they was trying to get that baby. They was trying to get that baby. 
but somebody separated from them when they when they learned the truth. Somebody learned the truth about what this this sex shit was about. This person was riding the fuck out of somebody trying to get a child. Something was enlightened about why somebody somebody could have been bouncing up and down on somebody's penis real hard, okay? And this person learned and this person separated from this person because they found out the truth. Somebody was trying to force something, putting their talents to service, trying to force some shit. So shit can balance out in the way that they want it. Somebody definitely could be embarrassed and heartbroken. Because there's some type of change here with this Wheel of Fortune. Somebody holding back their energy because somebody deciding to hold back their energy because they found out what somebody was doing. And now there's a bird in here. Yeah, somebody deciding to hold back their energy. Because look, here go the Ten of Wands again. Here go the the, the queen of wands and then the king of pentacles and in the beginning the king it was a, it was the king of pentacles again but i ain't mention it but there's a bird there's a bird in here with this couple this queen of wands and this king of pentacles could be a fire sign earth sign yep see it's two different situations here this may be what's going on. This this seems familiar. Because look, hold on, look. Putting teachers to use, right, y'all? This person is going to have to face the world with what they've done. Or this couple. Or this woman. Going to have to face the world for what they've done. How they was trying to get justice. Because this person also had another partnership here. Where, with a king of pentacles. And they was trying to persevere with this person, Right? queen of pentacles <laughs> and now this person could be holding back too or they was being greedy with this person trying to hold on to this person could have been possessive and it, it, they, these people could have separated as well there could have been some justice with these people separating so these people might end up separating and whatever this person had with this partnership over here with this with this king of pentacles that's what he coming out as it could be some type of heartbreak or separation from that because of the truth. So there's burdens here in this relationship. They could be fighting and arguing, right? Because that's that ten of wands. Justice. And then there's justice here, which is heartbreak and loss here in this partnership as well. These, these people was uh, sleeping around too. Sexual. Yeah, this was something sexual. Could have been some reverse cowgirl going on here. This man is the king of swords, king of pentacles. These were some sexual lovers. Or this is another man. What is this? <laughs> Hold on. Is this is is this an extra man? Oh shit! It's an extra man. <laughs> and this person was having sex. This person could have had sex in a house with a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. What the fuck? Eight of Swords, this was superficial though. This person has some type of cruel reason why they was having sex with this King of Swords. This King of Swords could be like some type of official or something. Yeah, it was about work when they was fucking on this person. This person could have been working to stay out of jail. That's why they was fucking on this person, trying to manipulate some shit. Y'all, this person could end up pregnant or something. I'm telling you. And then we got the Queen of Swords. So let me tell y'all, <laughs> this whole trying to be everybody motherfucking match. But this person was looking for some type of breakthrough. I guess we're dating all of these people. This person was being sneaky underhanded, a liar, backstabber, something going to blow back in this person's face. This person going to be at a loss in the five of cups. Because whatever this person was doing from the past on in is coming back to bite them in the ass. 
this shit coming back to bite whoever the fuck this is in the in the ass. This person was being manipulative for whatever this is. This King of Swords is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, or an Aries. This King of Pentacles right here. Um, could be an Earth or an Air sign. That's all I see. And then this... This, this man that this person could be with, this man could be an earth sign or a fire sign. This woman is a fire sign, air sign, or an earth sign. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else? Yeah, because this woman wasn't manipulating this man, trying to make him think that she was something. This hoe was spreading it wide, being romantic. There's three men, the three of wands. Three men, the three of wands. <laughs> yep, something being illuminated. And there could be some type of pregnancy here, too. Could it even end up getting pregnant? Judgment is being called. Or this person, happiness is being blocked. Ten of swords. This person going to meet a dead end in the community. I'm telling you. Is this person pregnant? Is, is is this woman pregnant? No. Was this woman with this knave of cups, was this woman ever pregnant? Yeah, this woman was pregnant before. There's some type of pregnancy here. Um, was this pregnancy blocked? No. Did this woman have a child? Oh, okay. This woman had a child. So whoever this woman has a home with, this man has fire or um, earth highly aspected in his chart. Let me go back real quick. We going to put these men separate where they belong. Who this person got a home with? They could be a Pisces, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Leo. That's who they arguing and fighting with. Now... Who this person was trying to have as a match and get injustice with and has some type of partnership with. This person is a Libra or a Capricorn towards Virgo. There's some type of separation and heartbreak and loss with that. Then this person was messing with somebody else. They had a, a sexual connection with somebody else. This person is a, a fire sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. This is who they had a connection with somebody else. And this person could have even been sleeping with a law official too as well or trying to manipulate some type of law official. Or this could be somebody that they was working with that they was fucking up. To help them. If this person is not a law official or an authority figure... This person was fucking on this person. They had an agenda on why they was uh, working with this person because um, they was doing cruel shit together. And for them to even have sex with each other, these, these people, it was some type of cruel act behind it. This was devious. Whoever this uh, air sign, earth sign, fire sign is. <laughs> Judgment is being called. This person had a baby and the baby could be out of the man that she demanded is some type of stress and burdens with going on that other man or that other man who's the daddy <laughs> judgment is being called who's the daddy 
You know, they had that line up on what you call it. Out of Pappy. I ain't even putting that. Is this anything else we need to know? <laughs> out of Pappy. I'm the father of that baby there, boss. <laughs> oh, man. Is there, um, is there uh, anything else we need to know about this? Oh, it is. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we're going to pull from the news deck. Somebody might want to get a DNA test. Get you a DNA test. Oh, what element is the woman? Is the, the the woman out of the elements? The woman could be who is it? Fire. Is this woman? Is this woman a fire sign? Is this woman an air sign? Is this woman an earth sign? This an earth sign woman. Who the father of that baby? This person is haunted by who they was getting close with and shit. <laughs> this, this chick thought she was that girl, that chick. <laughs> What's the news, man? Yeah, and then this bitch had people gassing her up, supporting her, encouraging her and shit, giving her compliments and shit. Now these same people that was gassing this bitch up gonna be throwing shade. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they was gassing the toxic relationship up. Gassed it the fuck up. Now they gonna be throwing shade and looking at it funny. These people both the same though. Whoever they in the crib with, they you know, they both the same, they both toxic. It's, it's definitely lit the fuck up in that relationship. Somebody might end up in a hospital or in an emergency room or have to go to an emergency room. Yeah, somebody gonna have to put themselves back together again. Yeah, because somebody got busted. And this hoe got the nerve to be a copycat. Whoever she copying, trying to copycat off of, this man that had enough. Whoever this hoe be trying to copycat off, this man that had enough of that shit. This person got busted. Yeah, this man had enough of this person's vibe. Yeah, the struggle is real. This person be annoyed sometimes at this person. This person could be extra. Out of place. This man got seduced by this person, though. This man seeing some bullshit. Maybe it's something on his phone or something. This man seeing some bullshit or she is. Whatever this man then seen, seeing some bullshit. He depressed and keeping it to himself. Yeah, they trying to keep something private. Somebody shook about something. Shocked, surprised, speechless. Caught off guard. Somebody could have a great body or um, be in a gym. Yeah, somebody was texting somebody. Somebody shook it. Somebody. Hmm. Somebody could have been texting somebody and it could have caught somebody off guard because somebody noticed somebody was texting somebody or something about some text messages and some communication. Some text messages and some communication got somebody shook. Maybe somebody said they was going to the gym, but when they at the gym, they be texting somebody else.
or somebody shook or what they heard about somebody's physical appearance or they shook about what they seen in some text messages i'm telling you there's somebody with some type of outdated opinions out of touch closed minded resistant change so somebody is shocked by somebody somebody's older uh messages here somebody's communication yeah this person could have found some text messages of some type of gossip or tea and they they were shocked as fuck about the information that was disclosed it was some information that was disclosed somebody seen some sort of message and they could have been having some type of mood swings ever since they sink that T in somebody's phone. Yeah, somebody got some type of T. It was like they was laughing, but now they ass crying. Because they got some type of T. Because somebody found out that they was being manipulated. Somebody had hidden intentions. For some type of partnership. So somebody older was rooting for some type of partnership with somebody. But it was like manipulation. There was some type of hidden influence. And in why somebody was rooting for something. And somebody like what the fuck. Somebody didn't think some shit. Yeah what somebody did. Oh, okay. So somebody ended up seeing some shit. About what somebody did. In order to get somebody. What somebody did in order to get somebody. This Karen bitch that this person with. This whole Karen. And there, there was somebody that was stunting and shitting on this person. And they wanted to have beef with this person because, you know, this person felt like, look, he's not really into her pregnant. This person wasn't really into whoever the fuck they got pregnant or something. Um, this shit crazy is what it is. Yeah, this this person did something reckless. Mm -hmm. And he got with this reckless person because he loved attention. But now this person finding out about the lies, the bullshit, the faking, all of the cap. Somebody squad was capping. It could be a group of friends, a close friend. Everybody was a team player with this bullshit. These cap, this capping these lies. But somebody could be falling for somebody, but look, he's not what you think. You know what I'm saying? You could be loving yourself now, so. Yeah, you doing better without his ass. You loving yourself and you doing better without this person. Don't involve yourself with this shit. Yeah, we got hot drama. This shit is good. Shit, I bet it is. I bet it is. It's a hot ass mess. Is there anything else we need to know about this? There was a squad of people in on this, this manipulation and this bullshit. And somebody finding out about it. <laughs> Confirmation. Is there is there anything else we need to know about this? Nope. So there's a just a recap. There's an earth sign feminine with a water sign, fire sign, or air sign masculine that they have some type of commitment with and child. There's a air sign, earth sign masculine that this person also had a partnership with. And then there's some devious, demonic manipulation, possibly magic too as well, that they had with somebody else. And it, and it could have been like a, a sexual connection or they made a major decision to do some bullshit. And 
the father of the child that was produced could be out of these three men. So let's just make sure. Um, is the baby that was produced, is the father out of these three people? Yeah. The father is out of these uh, three men. But that's that. We going to um, pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for, you know, just for the information. Because somebody, somebody was in this situation and you, you made the right decision on loving yourself because you're doing better without this person. If you would have remained in this situation, you would have been tied and connected to somebody who was connected to a whore that was sleeping with everybody and then don't even know who the fuck her child father is. It could be the person that she with. It could be the other dude or it could be another dude. But it's just still the simple fact that this bitch was fucking off. And this person could have, and this person was copying you. <laughs> this person want to be like you too. So if this somebody that somebody chose over, like that shit, wow. So, you know, it's always something to be thankful for, even if it's just information. It says here, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. So if you was listening to the divine and following the divine's instruction, good job, honey bunny. You could be any sign. Good job, honey bunny. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> draw near to Yahweh and he'll draw near to you. Carpe diem. Rejoice while you're alive. Enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest and make the most of what you have. This is the day Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I will thank Yahweh because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of Yahweh the Most High. When you have truly thanked Yahweh for every blessing sent, but little time will remain for, then, will then remain for murmur and lament. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Give thanks to Yahweh for he is good and his faithful love endures forever. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Yahweh, even as we put our hope in you. Does this message have anything to do with that other message? No, nope, it wasn't all. This is something different, y'all. <laughs> this is a different hot mess right here. But I hope you all, again, I hope you all got a message that help you along your journey from this read. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.